He then passed that gun off to the, someone who had been sitting in the passenger seat who fired some additional shots. That was over seven years ago when Bill Toure, a spokesperson for the Baltimore County Police Department at that time, was giving a statement about the four kids who had just been shot at Randallstown High School after they were leaving a charity basketball game. I know that it is a gun. Because if that wasn't, I wouldn't have been able to hold on as long as I did, losing that much blood, laying, him, laying in my high school parking lot. So the whole time I was praying to him <clears throat> to help me stay strong. <clears throat> and if, I mean, the helicopter came just in time to get me to that, uh, to the hospital, because he came any late, I wouldn't be laying in this bed right now. I'd be in a pine box. The four kids who were shot were never the intended targets. They were caught in the crossfire. Three of the kids would totally recover, but one would not. After pushing one of his friends out of the way, a bullet entered William Thomas's neck and injured his spine. And on that day, changed his life forever. And of a lot. It would take months of intense therapy, but William Thomas, known as Tipper, was determined to graduate with his high school class. Tipper Thomas is determined and he is strong and as the inspiration he is, he is here with us tonight. Please welcome graduating senior William Tipper Thomas. I waited 12 long years. I should right. get this right here. Right. I got another one to get in four years. That's right, you're gonna get that one from Morgan, right? From Morgan yeah. State University in electrical engineering. Y'all can look for that one too. Can you now see where this story is going? Take a look and see who's sitting up tallest among all the others. Boils down to having a goal and taking the necessary steps to accomplish it. I drew my motivation from something that actually uh, one of my good teachers right here did for me, Dr. Wheatland. He uh, came and saw me every week when I was in the rehab hospital. So when I was struggling for my motivation to keep pushing forward in life, I would look up and see where I was trying to get, which is Morgan State University. And uh, that kept me pushing in therapy and helped to keep me moving me forward. This is what Roosevelt Leftwich said about Tipper in a report he did years ago. There is a theory. Time is like a vast roadway with thousands of lanes. By changing lanes, you change the outcome of events in your life and affect the lives of others. William is on a bumpy road right now, but he's determined to get back on the path where he belongs. He's going to get his life back. I mean, that incident <clears throat> robbed me of prom, senior day, senior farewell. I've been wanting to go to Morgan State ever since I was a little boy, considering I grew up right across the street from there. So, I mean, I'm determined to go, whether I'm in a wheelchair or walking on my own two feet, I will be going to Morgan. William Thomas. So congrats to engineer Tipper Thomas, graduate of Morgan State University. We know this is not the end of your story, just the end of this chapter. Pete O'Neill, ABC2 News. Thank you.